Muhammad, the central figure of Islam, is believed to have his life story recounted in the Quran, but in reality, the holy book tells very little about his life. His name is mentioned only four times in the Quran, and three of those instances could be used as a title, rather than a proper name. Meanwhile, the term, Messenger of Allah, appears 300 times, and, Prophet, 43 times. While it is generally assumed that these references are to Muhammad, they do not reveal anything about his life's events or circumstances. The Quran only insists on his status as an emissary of Allah and asks the believers to obey him. The Hadith, voluminous collections of Islamic traditions that form the basis of Islamic law, and the Sirah, the biography of the Prophet of Islam, provide details about Muhammad's words and deeds. However, it is believed that the bulk of Hadiths about his life were written after his death, and the Sirah was written by Ibn Ishaq, who lived almost a century and a half after Muhammad. Therefore, much of the story of Muhammad's life is shrouded in mystery and interpretation. The Quran is the holy book of Islam and, therefore, the primary source of information about the religion and its central figure, Muhammad. However, the Quran itself does not contain much information about the events and circumstances of Muhammad's life. Although Muhammad is frequently addressed in the Quran by Allah, there is nothing specific about his life beyond insistent assertions of his status as an emissary of Allah and calls for the believers to obey him. The name, Muhammad, appears only four times in the Quran, and even in those instances, there is little information that can be gleaned about his life. In the third chapter, or surah, of the Quran, Muhammad is called a messenger, and it is suggested that messengers have passed on before him. In Surah 33, we are told that Muhammad is not the father of any of the believers but the messenger of Allah and seal of the prophets. Muslim scholars have interpreted Muhammad's status as, seal of the prophets, to mean that he is the last of the prophets of Allah, and anyone who claims to be a prophet after Muhammad is a false prophet. Quran 47-2 states that Muhammad is someone to whom Allah has given revelations, but this could apply to any of the Quran's designated prophets as well as Muhammad. Quran 48-29 says that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are ruthless against the disbelievers but merciful among themselves. The Hadith, the collections of Islamic traditions that form the foundation of Islamic law, provide extensive detail about Muhammad's words and deeds. However, there is considerable reason to believe that much of the Hadiths about Muhammad's words and deeds date from a period considerably after his reported death in 632. It is, therefore, difficult to ascertain the authenticity of the Hadiths, and the stories contained therein should be approached with skepticism. The Sirah, the biography of the Prophet of Islam, provides additional details about Muhammad's life. However, the earliest surviving main biography of Muhammad was written by Ibn Ishaq, who lived in the latter part of the 8th century, almost a century and a half after the death of his protagonist. In this period, legendary material about Muhammad was proliferating, and Ibn Ishaq's biography, which doesn't even exist as such, comes from a later edition edited by Ibn Hisham. As a result, it is difficult to determine what is fact and what is fiction in the Sirah.